Hello again. Welcome to the next video. This one is on subtracting integers. And I need to share. There we go. OK, so subtracting integers. Uh, so at the top of this page, it says when a number and its blank here it's looking for is opposite are added. Excuse my messy handwriting. The sum is zero. This represents the additive inverse. So, OK, don't if you don't additive inverse might sound a little confusing. But what they're saying is that if I take something like negative three and I add positive three, that equals zero. That's because if I look at my number line, I start at negative three and I go uh, one. Oh, so, oh, sorry, if I go start from zero and I go negative three, because that's the first part, one, two, three, that's negative three, and then go forward three, or add three, one, two, three, and I go back to zero. This might kind of seem intuitive because three minus three is zero. Or if I take a, and Three minus three is zero, or a negative three plus a positive three is also zero it's because they're opposites. So here, uh, subtracting integers, rewrite the problem to add the uh, opposite. I think this opposite sign. I'm not sure what blank they're looking for here, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to give you guys some insight. Then follow the rules for adding integers to solve the problem. For example, if I have 6 minus 7, another way of saying that is 6 plus negative 7. So when I subtract, it's the same thing as adding a negative. I can say it either way. Nine, negative 9 minus 11, I can also say negative 9 plus a negative, never, plus negative 11. Adding a negative, negative number is the same as subtracting. Same with negative 3 minus negative 8. Now this word's a little bit different. When you subtract a negative number, that is the same as adding. Uh, so like this example right here says negative 3 minus negative 8. If I start at negative 3 and I want to, well, actually, it's this kind of, never mind, I'm not going to try to explain that, but that's just the rule. Whenever I have two negative signs written into each other or a minus and a negative sign, those two become a positive. So when I subtract a negative number, that is the same as adding. So let's do look at these examples below. So just this one, they're just asking us to rewrite the problems. So negative five minus sign is the same as saying negative five plus a negative nine. Negative eight minus three, well, that's something we just did. Two negatives means that is the same as adding. Eight minus negative three becomes eight plus three. 14 minus 20 is the same as saying 14 plus a negative 20. Two minus negative 10, well, that's, those are two negatives, or when you have sub, or subtracting a negative, this makes becomes a positive. Negative 13 minus a negative 7, that's the same as negative 13 plus 7. Negative 17 minus 8 is the same as saying negative 17 plus a negative 8. So I'm not going to do the solutions to those problems, but for, for, for you to you on your own, I'm just showing you different ways of writing. So let's look at some subtraction problems together. Uh, let's use a color I haven't used before. Let's use this purple, see how this looks. Uh, so 9 minus 6, again, it's the same as saying, you don't have to write this if you don't want to, 9 plus a negative 6. But really, we're just going to go back to the same rule from last time. If I have two signs that are opposite, then subtract and take the number with the greatest value. So 9 minus 6, okay, well, I'm going to subtract. Well, 9 minus 6 is 3. And since the 9 is bigger, I take the sign of the larger number. So I take the positive sign from that 9, and it's going to be a positive 3. 4 minus 7, OK. I'm going to subtract 7 minus 4. That's 3. And I take the sign of the number with the, I take the sign of the number with the biggest value. So 7 is bigger. I take that, take that number. Negative 7 minus 12. 
OK, these two have the same sign. And so what the rule is if two values have the same sign, then we add them together and use the same sign. So even though there's a minus sign, remember this is the same thing as saying negative 7 plus a negative 12. So I'm going to add these two numbers together because they're both negative. So negative 7 minus 12, that's a negative 19. Because I'm adding two numbers together and I'm keeping that negative sign. That's kind of like saying that you owe your friend $7 and then you borrow another $12 from your friend. So you owe that friend a total of $19. You have a balance of negative $19. So let's check your answers to see if we did OK. So positive 3 plus negative 3 plus negative 19, that would equal negative 19. Well, negative 3, or excuse me, positive 3 and negative 3, well, that adds up to be 0. And 0 plus negative 19, well, 0 plus anything is just whatever you're adding it to. So yeah, we got that right. OK, let's try column. So why don't we pause the video right there? I'll have you guys try the next column. OK, so seven. Use a different color again. Seven minus negative three. Remember, we have two negatives that's the same as adding. So seven plus three, that equals. Ten. One. Minus negative nine. Again, that's the same as saying one plus nine. One plus nine is ten. I'm sure, I did that right. Okay, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. We'll find out in just a second. Two minus six. So opposite signs. I'm um, gonna subtract six minus two is four. Keep the sign of the bigger number, which is a negative. Okay, no, I'm okay. I did right. I'm looking. I'm thinking the wrong thing here. So now I'm going to add these together to see if I got that right. So positive 10 and a positive 10. Well, that gives me 20. 20 minus 4. Yep, that's 16. We did that right. OK, so I'm going to leave C and D for you guys. Again, work on those on your own. Um, and if you have if you have questions about your answer, you can should be able to check it. If that doesn't work, let me know. OK. This is a riddle. Match the correct answer and uh, to a letter to complete the riddle below. Um, OK. So this one is a word problem. Number one says the concession stand made a profit of $135 on Saturday and lost $4 on Sunday. Aww. How much profit did a concession stand make over the weekend? So it says that it made a profit of 135, that means I gained $135, but then it lost $12. 135 minus 12. Okay, well, let's do this up here. 135 minus 12. 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. Yep. So 123, and so the 135 is bigger, so that's positive 123. So 123. And so if we're going to do the riddle, 1 is 123, so 123 is H. This is, that's the answer number 1. So right here, anywhere I see a 1, I guess I put an H. OK. Uh, I'll do a couple more. Uh, Mercury. Oh, no, sorry. Numbers. Oh, no, I'm just going to go down to number two. Let's do that. Number two, 18 plus, eight, excuse me, eight, negative 18 minus a negative 13. Wow, lots of negative signs here. So when you see something like this, don't get freaked out. But remember your rule when you have two negative signs next to each other, you should make that into a positive. So this becomes negative 18 plus 13. Now I'll go back to a rule opposite signs we subtract. So this becomes this is like 18 minus 13. So I'm going to do this in this corner up here. 18 
13, I subtract these two numbers. Eight minus three is five. Uh, one minus one is zero, so let's leave that alone. And so the answer is five. I take the sign of the bigger number, which is which is the 18. So that's a negative five. So that would be just don't go by the rule, the riddle. I don't even know what the answer to this riddle is going to be, guys. Uh, number two is negative five. So where's negative five? Negative five, negative five, negative five, negative U. Here we go. U is negative five. So this is number two. So two is U. All right, next one. Uh, I already did one like that. Oh, we know it didn't. So now we have nine minus a negative 21. Again, those two negative signs become a positive. Nine plus 21, well, that's much easier to do. 21, nine, add those two together. One plus nine is 10, carry the one. One plus two is three, that's 30. So if three is 30, where's 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, here we go, I, I 30, sounds like a highway. That's three right there. So three down here would be, I'm sorry, the I, yeah, I. Are there any, any other threes? Guess not. Okay, I'm gonna do this last word problem and then see if you guys can do the other six on your own. I feel like this should be the answer to a joke down here, but if you figure it out, you guys let me know. Rita own, owed her brother $15. After her birthday, she was able to pay him back and still had $45. How much did Rita receive for her birthday? So, okay, so Rita owed her brother $15. Let's just make that like a negative because he owe, she owes money. So that's a bad balance, negative 15. She was able to pay him back after she still had, she was able to pay him back and still had $45. So I go, okay, so she received some money for her birthday. So the question is, how much was she able to give back to her brother? Okay, so how should we set this up? Let me think about this one. It's a little bit harder. Um, I'm brain, maybe it's my brain farting here. Uh, Rio and brother. So negative 15, how I would look at it is negative 15 plus something, 45. So what would we, do to find that missing money there. I'm trying to think of how to explain this and with the terms that we just uh, did. Or I guess one way to look at it is that 45 plus that 15 must have been what she got for her birthday. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to move up here again. So 45 plus 15. 5 plus 5 is 10, carry the 1, 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, so this one is $60, so 60 R, that's the answer to number 4, so R, 4, R, oh, 4, 4 is R, but the only, but that's the only one. Okay. Okay. Move on to the next page here. So yeah, I'm gonna let you guys do the answers to the rest of those and see if you can find the answer to that riddle down there. Last page on subtraction. Uh, so now we're doing some decimals. So 2.7 minus three. So, okay. We could do this with the information that we already have, but since they give us a number line, let's just visualize this. So 2.7. So again, we're kind of going to estimate. So remember, 2.5 is halfway between 2 and 3. So 2.7 is like, nah, here-ish. There's 2.7. And minus 3, that means we're going to take three jumps to the left. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3. And here we are right here. Well, what number would that be exactly? Well, we only jumped whole numbers. And so this has to be negative 0 
And I'll tell you how we know that. Um, so if you remember your decimal subtraction, if you don't like that number line method, just remember your decimal subtraction. So these have opposite signs. So negative three and then 2.7. Remember when we're subtracting decimals, we need to add that zero at the end of three. So now everything is lines up. Okay. So now there's my problem. Okay, there's my problem. So I'm going to borrow one from there. So 10 minus 7 is 3. 2 minus 2 is 0. So, oh, I'm sorry. Whoa, I was wrong. Yep, I was totally wrong about that. That should be negative 0 0.3. Okay, let's see if I can maybe get this one right. One, negative 1 1.8 plus 3.3. Okay, so negative 1.8. And now here's negative one, that's almost a true. So negative 1.8 is somewhere around there. Plus 3.3. Uh, so I go 3.3 to the right. So here's one to the right, two to the right, three to the right, then jump three places. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of this uh, number line method. So we are just going to, I think I'm just going to stick with this method. So 3.3, 1.8. 1 1.8 1 is negative, which means we need to subtract. So borrow 13 minus 8 is 5. 2 minus 1 is 1. So this should be a positive 1.5 because 3.3 is bigger than negative than the 1.8. Okay, let me do that last one a little more slowly because this is my our first time. Well, I mean, this is the last one I'm going to do with you guys. I know this is our first time doing decimals and subtraction in this class, even though you probably did it in math lab. So we have 9.2 and 15.7. Opposite signs mean we're going to subtract. Negative 15. 0.7, 9 9.2. Yeah, I know that I'm going to be on the decimal place right there. 7 minus 2 is 5. 5 minus 9, I can't do that. So 15 minus 9 is 6. That would be 6.5. I don't want you guys to use calculators quite yet because we're still getting used to this negative and positive number stuff, but um, soon. So I want you guys to get comfortable with how these numbers work. Oh, by the way, this would be a negative in case you were wondering about that because negative 15.7 is bigger. Okay, so we can do these last two problems. All right, yeah, this last, actually, this is the last one. Two students solve the problems below. One of the students made an error. Explain the student's error and how would he help the student get the correct answer? So let's look at Alejandro and Rose, or Rose, Alejandro, Rose. Okay, so 5.7. Minus 9.6. He said 5.7. That's he said that's the same as 5.7 plus a negative 9.6. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna let you guys pause it and try this on your own, and then we'll look at the solution. So Alejandro said 5.7 minus 9.6 is the same as we kind of go down one step. 5.7 plus negative 9.6. Well, that's right because we know that. Subtracting something is just like adding its negative. So subtracting is like adding its negative. So 5.7 minus 9.6. Let's see if it did that math right to get to negative 3.9. So 9.6, negative 5.7. 6 minus 7 I can't do, so I'm going to borrow from 9. 16 minus 7 is a uh, brain fart, 9. Then 8 minus 5 is 3. Since 9.6 is bigger, I'm going to keep that negative. So yeah, Alejandro seems to do that right. So does that mean Rose made the mistake? She said 45.80 minus 60 is the same as negative 45.8 plus 60. Well, that's not right. You're switching signs here. You can't just swap signs around. That negative was attached to the 60. So she could have said something like 45.8 zero minus a or excuse me plus a 
negative 60. That would have been fine. Let's see what the problem should have been. So if she did that, 45.80. Oops, I know I screwed up. 60 is a bigger number, so I'm just going to say, what is going to be subtraction because there's opposite signs? 60, 45.80. Sixty is negative. Uh, and I have to extend my decimal places here. So zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus eight, I can't do that. I need to borrow. So 10 minus eight is two. Nine minus five is four. Negative five, uh, five minus four is one. So 14.2, 14.20, that's the same thing. Um, but the sign would be negative because negative 60 is bigger than 45.80. So yeah, this should have been a negative because she swapped the signs around. So uh, negative signs can be difficult. I can see why she would, uh, why it would be easy to swap the signs around. So there is one more problem. This is very similar to the other ones. We're not going to do these together. If you want to do number four, five, and this by yourself, please do that. Um, and so this is the end of the subtraction video. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.